Welcome to Soul Cafe. It's been a while. Uh, we just want to talk to you today. And I just want to encourage you. These times you are living in, require people to be strong. Be strong. That's what I have for you today. Be strong. I know things are tough, things are hard. Life is becoming precarious to live. <laughs> I mean, global warming, everywhere are eating up, economic trouble, political upheavals everywhere. Be strong. I say like this, don't be weak. Don't fall for everything around you. Stand up for something and stand for the word of God. Be strong. I say again, be strong. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't surrender. Life demands that in this season, be strong. Yeah, you're going to face adversities. You're going to face barriers. But hey, come on, make my day. <laughs> let's go for it. Let's get things done. Let's display strength. Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. So you got strength, it's time to display it. Let's rise up to it. God told Joshua three times at the beginning, at the beginning, when after Moses died and had to face the future and make things happen. And here I was in a kind of a precarious moment where they had no nation or they had no country. They were just a bunch of freed slaves that are just coming out of Egypt and out of disobedience for 40 years and they had to find their way forward. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know what's your age. I don't know where your location. I don't know what's your trouble. I don't know what's your triumph. Wherever you are right now, you're like Joshua standing at the brink of destiny. You're looking at the future. What will you do? Will you capture or will you be captured? Will you go up or will you go down? My friend, make up your mind today to be like Joshua, to stand at the brink of history and make history for yourself. Heaven is watching you. Hell is watching you. People on earth are watching you. What are you going to do? Be strong. Hallelujah. Be strong. Let's read some couple of stuff and then we get out of here. I just want to encourage you today. Let's read where God told Joshua, be strong. Let's go. Let's take a look at this. Joshua 1 verse 6, God said, be strong and of good courage. For to these people, you shall divide an inheritance the land, just what to their fathers, to give them. First of all, be strong because... People are relying on you. If you are strong, you'll be a good example. You'll be a prospect for Jesus. People will look at you and say, if you can't be strong, I can't be strong. So you're supposed to be an example now. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. Do darkness will cover the earth, but glory of God is risen upon you. Arise and shine for your light has come. When light comes, everybody looks up to that light. So you'll be strong because your family your friends, your neighborhood, your workplace, your world is looking up to you. Be strong. Hallelujah. You're going to be strong. You're going to follow him through and you're going to be an example. That's the first one. If you're going to be strong, you're going to be strong because of others. Your children, they're going to see the kind of a father that can match up with the future. And that will give them impetus for their own life and a platform for tomorrow. A mother, be a great mother, a strong mother right now. Be a strong business person. You will inspire others. Be a strong friend, be a strong colleague so that we can actually win this season. Don't fail and don't flutter. We're going to have to go. Let's, the reason, second reason how to be strong is this. Verse 7 says, Only be strong and very courageous. That you may observe to do according to all the law. I want to come to you. Do not turn from me to the right hand or to the left. That you may prosper wherever you go. You want to prosper? Do you want to prosper? You have to be strong and very courageous. Just, just read be very courageous. I may be able to follow the word of God through. You know, it's important that if you're if you, if you strong, you'll be able to follow through with the word of God. But if you are weak and you're falling out, things are going to happen to you that you don't expect. And then you start just giving up. See, see, these days, you have to be strong to act on the word of God. Read it and act on it. He said, give. You do that giving. He says, pray. You say, you should pray. He said, you love your enemies, you do that. You just don't give excuses because those who are weak will give excuses. But you're strong, you will act on the word of God at this season. And God demands that you be very strong and very courageous to do his word at this season. Don't compromise on his word. Get this word and preach it and declare it and say it and testify and confess it and see God moving on your behalf. Be strong in this season. That's what I'm telling you. Just be strong. What I say? Be strong. Don't be weak. Don't be tired. Don't be worn out. Don't sing the song like, I'm weary, I'm tired, take me home, stay here, let's get the job done. But the kingdom of God is going by force and forceful men, violent men take it by force. Let's do that for the glory of God, for people around us, 
And let's go back to the place we just read, the book of Joshua. It said, be strong, very courageous. And let's read the next one. It said, verse 6 says, be strong, courageous. Verse 7 says, be strong, only be strong and very courageous. Let's go to verse 9. It says, I've not commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, why should you be strong? Because the Lord is with you wherever you go. Wherever you find yourself on this planet, whether Asia or Africa or America, South or North or Europe, Antarctic or Arctic, the Lord is with you wherever you go. So be strong. It's on your side. The Bible says when Joseph was sold to Egypt, he was bought in the marketplace and he got to the house of Potiphar. The Bible says, and the Lord was with Joseph and he prospered everything he did. So be strong because the Lord is with you. The Lord is going to keep his word with you. He said, I'm with you. So be strong. Don't, I mean, I mean, if you have the best machine in the world that can move any mountain, what should you do? Go with the machine, level mountains, and pull out barriers on your way. And God said, I'm your mighty one. God said to Gideon through the angel, you are a mighty man of valor. Go in this your might and you'll conquer the Midianites. So this hour, this season, the world today is calling for strong men and strong women. Will you be one? Will you be a weakling? Fall out and don't be to anybody an example and you fall out and become a stumbling block? Or will you stand up and be strong and courageous and prosper and do the word of God? And finally, will you be strong because that will demonstrate that God is with us today. Fear not, I'm with you. Be not dismayed. I'm your God. I'll strengthen you. I will help you and uphold you. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says so. And don't forget that the Lord is with you and he will strengthen you and uphold you wherever you go and help you out to live this life well. Will you? Thank you for listening. Till we see you again, this is Soul Cafe with me, my humble self, Tunde Amoson. Thank you for listening.